Welcome everyone to uh, this week's broadcast of SEND TV, Life on the Autism Spectrum. I'm your co-host Keith Halperin. And I'm Will Burnick. And today we will be discussing uh, Ascend and the Best Buddies Walk. We have been privileged to work with Best Buddies over the past years, and we are looking forward to be able to uh, have our interview with our two guests, Ken Sito and JJ Kin. But before we do, Will, I can't see your T-shirt, but could you stand up and show it to it? I think it's something related to what we're doing today. You should ask that, because this week's shirt is my Best Buddy shirt. Since, since we're covering the, the walk, um, this shirt represents best best my my time with best buddies. Since we're talk since we're covering the walk today, I I wanted to wear I'm gonna wear it to promote the walk. I I've been with best buddies for 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 over ten years, so I feel feel like I'm feel like I'm I belong there. So so my shirt is what I'm gonna be wearing on the show and what I'll I'll be wearing on the walk. Excellent. Looking forward to seeing you there. Would you like to now uh, get in uh, to start interviewing our guests? Tell us about your work with Best Buddies. I am a volunteer, and I actually started working with Best Buddies in 2006. I did the challenge rides, raising funds for Best Buddies since 2006, uh, and did one, at least one challenge ride every year up through 2015. Um, in 2014, I discovered the Friendship Walk and did my first friendship walk in 2014 met you will met wesley met a bunch of other participants and some staff members at the 2014 friendship walk event and fell in love with the friendship walk event and with best buddies at that time i'd been obviously a dedicated fundraiser for best buddies up until then but it wasn't until 2014 at the friendship walk that i really got a chance to see what kind of amazing impact that uh, Best Buddies was having in our local communities. So all the different high school or school chapters, um, all of the employers that were locally uh, employing some Best Buddies participants, met a bunch of friendship, uh, friendship matches who were in the friendship program. And yeah, just really, really fell in love with uh, friendship uh, Best Buddies then. And since then, I've been gotten more involved. I uh, I have a citizens match. I started uh, in eBuddies. I uh, became a uh, speech coach for ambassadors training in the leadership program. I do mock interviewing for, for the jobs program. I uh, I've chaired the friendship walk uh, planning committee. For the past three years, I was actually involved with the Friendship Walk uh, uh, Planning Committee a couple of years before that even, and as just a member. Uh, and then now I'm also an advisory board member for Best Buddy. So I'm pretty crazy involved. I very, very much love Best Buddies and uh, love being part of the whole mission and uh, the, the, the the mission definitely um, aligns with my core values so it's something that's uh, really near and dear to my heart and all you guys are I just love all the participants and uh, I love all the volunteers and you know you, there's not there's I can't think of any negative aspects of being part of Best Buddies at all it's all very very positive and it's very you know very, very wonderful part of my life. JJ, tell us about your work with Best Buddies. Started volunteering with Best Buddies with my dear friend Heather, and she introduced me to Best Buddies and met Ken at um Best Buddies Festival Walk a year ago. And it will be my second year working with Best Buddies with Ken and Heather. Tell us about the history of the Friendship Walk. Well, the Friendship Walk started in 2009. I believe it started in Georgetown. It was a a, a very small event and since then it's grown to be hosted in 76 cities across the nation and uh, it takes place between April and June for all the different cities that host it. The, fr the Friendship Walk has grown into the leading um, walk across the country to uh, support uh, folks with uh, the 
to support the movement of inclusion for people with IDD, intellectual and developmental disabilities. The Friendship Block has two major goals. One of the goals is celebrate inclusion and to acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of folks in the uh, Best Buddies community from participants to uh, volunteers who are uh, involved in all the different programs. And uh, the other goal of the Friendship Walk is to raise vital funds for Best Buddies programs that create opportunities for one-to-one friendships, integrated employment, inclusive living and leadership development. How long have you been promoting the Friendship Walk? Well, uh, I've been promoting the Friendship Walk since I started my first one in 2014. Once I got into the Friendship Walk, literally my favorite event every year of, of all the events that I, I participate in and uh, volunteer in. I do a bunch of different challenge rides for other uh, organizations, but I always really, really look forward to the Friendship Walk. I literally have, uh, I only missed one Friendship Walk since 2014, and I only missed it because I had a conflict. Um, so whenever I have a chance, I like to promote the Friendship Walk. What I'd like to highlight is uh, some of the companies that actually partner with Best Buddies in the jobs program to hi- hire our participants, uh, giving gainful appointment to uh, folks with IDD. Ken, first of all, I would like to commend you for the incredible amount of service that you have uh, given uh, Best Buddies. And secondly, I'd like to give a shout out uh, to Best Buddies itself, because just a few days ago, I was speaking to a very happy parent of a young woman who had been employed through Uh, Best Buddies initiatives through JLL and had just started a continuation of her position for a 20% raise. And he was also mentioning the father that is all the additional services throughout time that uh, uh, Best Buddies had given to his daughter. He was very, very happy with you. So shout out to Best Buddies there. And along those lines, for Our viewers who may not have been familiar with Best Buddies, you've mentioned quite a bit about their goals and their mission. Is there anything additional about the organization that you'd like to add to for our viewers? I I think the the great thing about Best Buddies is that, again, it's a volunteer-led organization. They really rely a lot on, you know, members of the community to help Mm -hmm. out with the programs. And... And it's a very hands-on, um, it is, it's unique in that respect, I think, in in how hands-on and how very personal it is uh, mm-hmm. that you are able to really get to know and, and meet um, the folks in the community that are, are you know, being, are, are being part of this program. Excellent. So and that is clear from you. And that, that leads me to my next question. Um, again, commendations on your extensive involvement. It's just like, my goodness, this guy volunteers an incredible amount and provides so much service. So what originally prompted you to get involved with uh, Best Buddies? So when I was in college, I coached, um, I, I was looking for a volunteer um, opportunity because, uh, you know, I wanted to do something a little bit more than just doing homework the whole time. So I got involved with Special Olympics is uh, kind of my introduction to the community of people with uh, intellectual and developmental disabilities. And I I never had a personal connection with anybody uh, of special needs. Um, you know, I was aware of folks when I was going to school, like elementary school and high school, of some folks who did have special needs, but I really didn't really interact with them that very much. They were kind of, you know, they were relatively isolated, actually. When I was in college and was involved in Special Olympics, uh, I coached track. I really learned kind of, a, 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 it was eye-opening to me because I I kind of learned at least these families um, that uh, the their uh, the children with special needs um, and the young adults with special needs were really kind of a focus of a lot of very positive energy with all these families. Thank you, Ken. Again, a great story. 
odd hearing about your involvement. JJ, how did you get involved in the uh, Best Buddies? Well, I be I get involved with Best Buddies um through my dead friend Heather, and she got me to join, and she asked Ken if um if I could join Best Buddies with him, and and she she said that I could by asking Ken, and Ken was okay with it, so he had to me at the best buddies. Really, really good. Well, thank you very much, JJ. Good to hear that. Uh, and now our, our book correspondent, uh, Jennifer Brooks, has a question or two for our guests. Yeah, mostly for JJ, but also for and Ken, if you'd like to chime in. I'm just curious, what's your favorite part about Best Buddies overall? Best favorite part of Best Buddies of all of overall is stay to know people like the workers and stay to work with, work with them. And my best part was cheering on the walkers when they walk the whole Dirty Park. Hi everyone, my name is Wesley Lamb and for Set TV's Life on, Life on the Autism Spectrum. And today we are here at the Best Buddies Friendship Walk on site at Reese Concourse in Golden Gate Park on April 13th and we have a special guest today so and her name is um, Lisa um, Levy so please introduce yourself please. Hi my name is Lisa Levy happy to be here today and cannot wait for this walk to kick off. Uh, I have percent agree too Lisa so first of all Lisa tell us how you were involved with Best Buddies. So I've been involved with Best Buddies on and off for about say 15 years or so. Hello, hello, uh, hello. Welcome so everybody to the 2024 Best Buddies, Best Buddies Friendship Walk here in San Francisco. Please remember to check in at home to your registration. Wow, that's at amazing. Registration. So tell me, Wherever you what's the one thing you love about sure Best Buddies? Right and also take some time buddies. to grab some Ooh, snacks. We have some fun. bagels, we have free cheese, we have hot cocoa, coffee, all different kinds of beverages to wake you up on this chilly morning. Thank you everybody so much for here and we will get started yep, very soon. Here. Just head on over to the check-in booth if you haven't already. Is it first time at the Best Day Fresh Walk or have you been involved with Best Day Fresh Walk before? This is my first one here in San Francisco um, and I was hoping for the nice summer weather today but you know typical San Francisco we got our fog and rain. <laughs> well, yeah, so usually, ladies and gentlemen, our, the weather here in San Francisco is pretty much really nice to say this time of the year but unfortunately this year of the rain came in Basically, but hopefully it would not rain our parade. But anything else you want to tell us, our, tell our viewers about yourself or your or best buddies in general? Sure. So yeah, I, I agree. This rain is not going to stop our parade. We're going to have a good day no matter what. But yeah, about me, you want to hear? Uh, yes. Let's see. So I. But like a fun fact, like ooh. a fun fact about yourself. Ooh, a fun fact about myself. Let's yes. See. I think my favorite thing I love doing is baking. Uh, I made some cookies last night, and yeah. How about you? What's your fun fact? Fun fact about me. I've been involved with best. I've been involved with best buddies since 2006, so almost like you know, eight years basically. It, it, That's amazing. I wish we could you could have brought in the cookies today basically for so for our VIF tent basically. You were right. I should have. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, Lisa, and thank you know, back you. to you, folks. Thank you, JJ and Jennifer. And speaking of Jennifer, we will now hear uh, from her book review of the week. The book I am going to review today is titled, Was Yosef on the Spectrum? Understanding Joseph from the book of Genesis through Torah, Midrash, and classical Jewish sources. Now, I believe a person should always be skeptical whenever someone is claiming that a historical figure was on the spectrum. After all, as any competent psychologist would tell you, it's difficult enough to determine if a living person is on the spectrum, let alone someone who has been dead for hundreds or thousands of years and for whom we have limited information about their life. And what's even more remarkable is that Samuel J. Levine, the author of this book, he is a professor of law and director of the Jewish Law Institute at Turo Law Center. So he is not a psychologist, and yet 
in addition to his insights about Joseph, he also has one of the most eloquent and sympathetic and understanding descriptions that I have ever read about what it's like to be a child on the autism spectrum and what it's like to interact with a child on the autism spectrum and how the oblivious adults think they're helping when they say, well, let's just force them to interact. Let's just force them to be friends. No, that doesn't work. It just ends up making it even worse. And yeah, because the autistic child doesn't know what they're doing wrong to make the other children not want to play with them. And the other children, for their part, they say, look, it's not because we want to be bigots, but Sammy is so unpleasant to interact with. He just sucks all the fun out of everything we do. Why does he have to be like this? And grown-ups, this is your cue. You can take the opportunity to explain. Well, Sammy can't help it. His brain doesn't work the same way that yours does, and he doesn't know that what he's doing is so off-putting for you. So, the book is titled, Was Yosef on the Spectrum? He actually makes a good case for saying Yosef could have been on the spectrum. One thing the Bible doesn't explain is why did Joseph's brothers hate him so much that they were willing to sell him into slavery? I mean, yeah, a lot of us have siblings that we think are annoying sometimes, but most of us would never sell them into slavery to get rid of them. So it does make you wonder. And it also shows that even during Bible study, this is an opportunity to teach about neurodiversity. So please use the opportunity. Don't waste it. Thank you for your book review, Jennifer. Ken, we have one final question for you. Um, well, it's late in the show, but... Uh... Not too late, we hope, and also not too late um, to sign up and get involved. My question for our viewers is, if someone at this point is interested in getting involved in the Friendship Walk on April 13th, what should they do? Who should they contact? I'm hoping that everybody who watches your show will be interested in uh, participate in the uh, Friendship Walk. Uh, it takes place in, on April 13th. Uh, starting registration starts at 8 o'clock a.m. Uh, at the site. Um, to uh, You want to pre-register by going to bestbuddiesfriendshipwalk.org slash San Francisco all together. And you can actually probably uh, do a uh, Google search of uh, San Francisco Friendship Walk. Um, and that'll take you to the homepage where you can register or you can even scroll down to the volunteer button and you can uh, sign up to volunteer as well. Uh, uh, we actually encourage folks to, even if you're volunteering, go ahead and sign up to do the friendship walk. And so you can actually participate in the walk as well. Um, it's just a whole whole fun day of activities and, and learning about the Best Buddies programs and everything else. If you... Um, you want to actually be involved in Best Buddies, uh, just go ahead and go to bestbuddies.org slash California, and you'll find a list of the offices. You'll want to go to the San Francisco office, and that website will direct you to ways to contact the staff for volunteering or uh, being a participant in any of the programs. So I think those are probably the, the easiest ways to get uh, in touch with uh, Best Buddies as far as the Friendship Walk and um, getting involved with uh, Best Buddies programs as a volunteer or as a participant. JJ, any final words about Best Buddies and the Friendship Walk from you? Best Buddies Friendship Walk is um, really fun to work with and it's a very fun friendship walk with with um with other people like with your families or your friends to walk with and get to cheer them on. Thank you very much, JJ, and thank you very much as well, Ken. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to have us here to talk about the friendship walk. Yeah, I agree. Well, folks, uh, that's our show for this week. Until next time. 
I'm your co-host, Keith Halperin. I'm Will Burnick. I'm Stacey Kennedy. I'm Jennifer Brooks. I'm Ken Sito. Hey, I'm JJ Ken. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Ascend TV, Life on the Autism Spectrum. Until next time, stay well.